Grade 8 Math, number 9.3c, Graphing Rotations. To rotate a figure in a coordinate plane, we rotate each of its vertices, each of its points. Then we connect the vertices to make the image. We connect the points. The figure should maintain, it should keep its size and shape. Only its orientation will change, only its position will change, okay? That's what orientation is, it's how it's sitting. So, this is what we've covered so far. We've covered these transformations, and they're functions that describe a position, a size, or a shape of a figure. We talked about translations, which are sliding. The, the figure just slides. And the size and the shape and the orientation all stay the same in a translation. In a reflection, that's like this. It's the opposite. It's like a flipped version. The size and the shape are the same, but the orientation is different. It's now, like, reversed. Rotation, that's what we've been talking about lately, it turns around a center of rotation, around a central point. The size and shape will stay the same, and the orientation is different. So these are the only two that have different orientation. The translation keeps its orientation, okay? It's just sliding, okay? All right, so here we've got our coordinate plane, and we've got our quadrants labeled on here. Remember what I said to remember where the quadrants are? This is a coordinate plane, and coordinate starts with the letter C. So we make a letter C. It starts here, and it comes around. See that? So that's quadrant one, quadrant two, quadrant three, quadrant four. We make the shape of the letter C. Now we're going to go clockwise, and that's the direction the clock goes. It goes around towards the right. See? Counterclockwise would go this way to the left, all right? So we've got our triangle, and we want to move it, okay? And if we rotate the triangle from the y-axis to the x-axis, point A will still be at 0, 0, the origin, okay? So we can label these points. This black tip is going to be A prime. It's going to be the next point, see? So we can move this. And this point is the center of rotation, this zero, zero origin, okay? Point B is going to move 90 degrees and come around to here, see? Point C is going to move 90 degrees and come to here. Now, if you look at the y-axis and the x-axis, you can see that they're perpendicular, right? Well, that means when we move and turn line AB 90 degrees, then it should still be perpendicular, see? A prime, B prime will be perpendicular to it, see that? Just like the y-axis is to the x-axis. The image will be congruent to the pre-image. It's going to be identical, all right? Just its position, its orientation is going to change. So, point B is two units to the left of the y-axis, see that? One, two. So, it's going to be two units above the x-axis, one, two, see? And point C is two units to the right of the y-axis, so it's going to be two units below the x-axis. See that? So this is B prime for the image and C prime for the image. Okay? And then this is where our triangle will sit. It'll sit right like this. See? All we have to do now is connect A prime, B prime, and C prime to make the triangle image. Okay? We just connect the lines. See? So the origin is the center of rotation. And the entire triangle turned 90 degrees. It went bam, just like that. See that? B came around and is here. C came around and is here. All right? The shape did not change. Only the way it's sitting changed. Only its position changed. Okay? And the center of rotation is point A, which is also A prime, isn't it? Okay, so we did translations, which is the sliding. We did reflections, which is the flip, like a mirror image. And we did rotation, which is turning around a center point, a, a point of rotation. See that? In this one, it's his belt, and he's going around like that, all right? We're going to move forward, and we're going to talk about algebraic transformations. We're going to do this with algebra, okay? So I hope I explained all these 
transformations well enough that now when we get into the algebra, you won't be so confused, okay? And I'll try to be as good as I can at explaining all this, all right? I, you know, I know this is rough, but stick with it. We'll be okay, all right? All right, bye.